Hi, I'm Michelle Cooper, and welcome to my studio. We're going to have some fun with some different colors today, like cobalt violet. So I'm going to squeeze out just a little tiny petite pea-sized blob right here in the palette. Now for some moon glow. This is pretty stiff in this tube. It's almost turned back into a mineral again. I'll get just enough pea size here. Now with the cut up credit card, scrape across both colors on the edge and sideways onto your paper. Get more moon glow and sideways again, right about there. Okay, now get a little bit more Scrape that off of there, the moon glow, and give it one, two little swipes like this. All right. Let's pick up the paper here and get a soft, wet brush, just water, and pull it across the paper just above that paint that you streaked on there until it starts to pick it up. As the paper gets wet, you can add some more paint. That's some Payne's Gray there. And more water. Tilt it until the paint starts moving where you like. More water here, a little bit of water underneath the paint, but don't drag it through the whole paint. Okay, let's wet this foreground and Add some undersea green. All right, we can just use a stick for that. And streak it underneath the bottom stroke that you had and on top of that pink stroke. Get your mister, mini mister, it's a fine mist spray. And then spray it until it moves the paint. Again, you can tilt the board, the uh, paper to make it run. Add a little more water if you think, or else if it's too much water, you can also dab off your sponge, um, dab off your brush with a sponge and lift off. Here's some yellow ochre. Uh, we gotta get some, no, we gotta get more than that, I think. Yeah, nope more more on the tip tip of your brush there really get it in there yeah there we go so add some in to let it blend wet into wet and that's yellow ochre okay let's dab off a little extra extra water at the bottom there see how we like the blend that's happening now okay maybe get some Payne's gray here. Put that on your stick and darken just right into here. It's still very wet, so whatever's left on the stick, that's going to blend in. Take my brush and dab some water drops on here and then move those around. Oh, this is getting pretty wet now. Hmm. Okay. Now, the sharp end of my card, I'm going to drag it through. I'm not scraping, I'm just dragging. Dragging it through, and what that does, it makes a little ditch and creates these fine lines as they come out onto the dry paper. It looks like little pen marks. Maybe for some tree branches. Okay, get some Q-tips now. And I think those pointed ones are a little hard to be absorbent because this is really wet. Let me try it this way. Really press hard with the whole heel of it. Eh, not the greatest. So get some of this green. I wanted to get rid of some of that pink there after all. 
There we go, that's that undersea green. Okay, and lift off any excess buildup of pigment. Okay, get some artist gouache now. I got this whole thing dry, so I'm gonna put, make my moon, I decided to have a moon here. A little bit damp still, but I can get a lot of white gouache on here. This has been something of an impromptu experiment. I'm going to use this um, Right Tech pen to finish some of these branches on my trees now because I now have an idea. Um, while letting the paint have its own way, I now have an idea for what I want to name this. Now with the moon over there, I think I need to put some white gouache accents, sort of little sparkles of moonlight on some of these branches here. Delicately, not every branch. Don't want it to look like snow. Just want it to look like a little bit of moonlight on there. Okay. Now I just want to refine some of these shapes. If some of the white shapes got too wide and put a little dot here and there, just, I don't know, that could be, that could be leaves, that could be bats, could be something flying in the night. Let's see, a couple of carefully positioned marks here.